Jesus Christ, it's been a while since I've sat in front of the camera. It's been even longer since I have sat out in this hobby shade. Um, college, full steam ahead. Midterm now. Well, not midterm, but Christmas break. Yeah, midterm. Uh, it's happening now, so I get a beautiful three weeks off. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I can sit out here, sort of clean all the dust off everything. Uh, get the dust off my seat so I can sit down and get ready for whatever hobby I want to do over the next three weeks. Um, yeah, so hopefully over the next couple of weeks I'll be able to bulk record some videos, do anything I want, get some hobby progress going. Uh, live streams, I know it's a bit difficult with Christmas because who the fuck wants to be watching live streams around uh, Christmas Day and all that type of thing. So maybe a little bit, let me think, after Stephen's Day. Stephen's Day, Boxing Day is going to be Tuesday. So maybe not Wednesday, but I do plan on having a live stream on this Thursday sometime during the day. Um, I should have a few hours free. So I think I'm just going to sit out here and do a bit of a, uh, do some hobby, get some stuff done. But the funny thing is, I've, like, I've been thinking, oh, I just want to come out here, I want to do some things. I want to sit in my hobby shed, either do some hobby, paint, put some guys together, play some darts, whatever it is. I just want to get out here. Now that I'm sitting out here, I'm like... Like shit, what 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 do I want to do first? I don't know. It's like that hobby syndrome. Uh, you're constantly wanting a new thing, but you have like a big stack of hobby uh, or models that are not even out of the box that you haven't even put together, but you're still wanting more and more. But um, I've been looking through a few things. One of the things I want to try and get done over uh, this holiday break, well, like I said done is going to be pushing it a bit, um, is... I did a live stream a while ago about, oh man, would have been at least a month ago now maybe. Um, making a clan Ash and Warband. Um, I completely forgot about, I completely forgot what I said in that video so I had to like redo the list out. Um, so basically it's it's like a Mordheim Warband list for Skaven. And I'm just going to be adding kind of extra of everything so you get to have like, uh, Two night runners. I'm gonna add four. You can have one assassin. I'm gonna add two. But um, I'll, just, I'll go over that list when we go a little bit further down at the desk, and I'll see what kind of things are around here. Um, so let's switch to the desk. Let's have a look at. Well, there's not really a whole lot to show, um, but I'll put something here. Um, just something nice to look at when I'm talking about this list. So uh, let's switch down. Right. So first things first. I was in my local hobby shop well I, I say hobby shop it's not really it's a bookshop that has a warhammer stall um, and look what that happened to have in there for like eight euro on the cheap I and mean, this light is kind of blinded um well or gretchen's this is like eight euro i find this box like really awesome um like, what do you get you get 10 gretchen and an orc runt herd so uh, pretty much like the, I like the the Gretchen guys. These are okay, uh, but I really wanted this one. Look at this guy. That's not gonna focus on him now when I really wanted to. But uh, he's really awesome looking. I like the model. It's a cheap little buy. I put him together, and he went you know together pretty well. And you know I don't know when I'm gonna get around to painting him. But I hope it's going to be pretty soon because this guy's really awesome. Um, but one of the funny things I did with this is before I get to the carnation list. So you have these little Gretchen guys. You have like the really small. And I was thinking for the warband they have giant rats. Uh, giant rats are kind of really hard to get. Um, you can't buy them by themselves. You can't buy like a big multi-pack of them. And you have to get the rat ogres to get some of them. You can like put a few of them together from like rats left over in some boxes. But... All together, they're, they're like really hard to get. So what? I got this like really weird idea, and I don't think it's gonna work. If it works, it's like one of these like really funny looking ideas or models. But one of the funny ideas was, what if I took the bodies off the Gretchens and I stuck a, a Skaven head on it? I don't know how much it's gonna focus on this because these are like really small. Uh, what if I stuck like a Skaven head and some Skaven arms onto? The body. It looks way out of proportion. This guy obviously because it's a storm vermin head. Um, he looks really kind of goofy like big head and a big arm. So I had a look at the Night Runner box. The heads are they're not as big. They're a little bit. They're maybe the same length. Um, but obviously I'm going to have to cut the gun off. So I'm thinking like what if I could use these as giant rats. But they're like 
kind of mutated. They got them from Clan Moore, maybe. And um, there's something wrong. They're like defected. So uh, they're like miniature, kind of smaller again, scaven guys. I know it's just a funny idea. I think they could, they could work maybe. I don't know. I see. I down the line, I'll work a little bit more on them. And um, so then, obviously, over the stream, I've been showing off uh, this guy who is so big. I'm gonna have to move the camera back. So finally got him in focus, but this guy is the centerpiece of the warband I was talking about. The Clan Asian one. He is going to be, um, well obviously he's a Vermin Lord Deceiver. He's over Clan Asian and all that stuff. Or maybe he's the Vermin Lord. I don't know whether he's over Clan Asian or if they just worship him. So he can come in and help him every now and again. It's kind of funny, so I really don't know if it, the Deceiver is like their general or not. Although I think he is. Um, obviously I have him on the big huge base here so the plan is I want to have all the bases very similar to this so this kind of graveyard look I have like a little night runner stuck onto the base and I've, uh, I think I've like two more to add on as well just to give it a bit more life so I want all the bases to be teamed like as if their hideout their HQ is in a graveyard so he is on this big huge round base that's way too big but if you're not going to go big if you're going to go big you have to go big i think that's what i'm trying to say but uh this guy is obviously the leader um and then i think that's kind of all i've i've, I've been working on i've been working on this little guy to hang on to the base um i showed him off in the live stream a couple of times so he'll be going into that soon other than that i haven't been Obviously, I haven't been out here, so I'm thinking what what can I use to get these models built? Uh, so I got another box of uh, the Blood Bowl Scam Blight Scramblers box. These are perfect for um, converting and using in your armies. I mean, these models are fantastic. So these are all going to be changed up and everything. Um, I think I, I think I don't have to change them too much. Like here's one of them. Here's one of the. I think it's the Night Runner. I keep getting these. I keep getting Night Runner and Gutter Runner mixed up. Gutter Runner. So here's the Gutter Runner. Like really, you could use him as he is. He has like a pair of knuckle dusters, um, and he has like a blade in the hand. Like he doesn't look too much like a football player. Maybe take this thing off. I think that's no. Maybe I think that's okay. Like I could just paint him up and put him up as he is. Um, but since he's a Gutter Runner, I was looking on my list here. Let me see, let's have a quick look at the list of what stuff he can take. What do I have? Gutter Runners. Uh, well, well, Night Runners. Uh, two daggers, a sword, or a spear. So, he already has the dagger. Maybe I could slip another dagger into there, into his other hand. I'm not too sure yet, I'll have to see. Uh, but I do only have uh, two of these in the box. So, I think one of them, kind of like standard looking like this, is going to be okay. And I'll convert the other one up to have... Uh, maybe a different dagger, change one of his arms or something like that. It's going to be a fun, fun process. Now, one of the things is, I don't have it out here with me. Let me have a look. So they're going to be, this box is going to be the main part of the warband. I think I'm probably going to be using nearly... Uh, all, the, all the models for the warband are going to be made from this, most likely, except for the Rat Ogre. Um, and some of the vermin kin I think but I'll get to that so one of the things that I've been really wanting to get is some more debt runners um, if you're not familiar what the debt runners are they come with the silver tower box you get two in the box it's the only way to get them I think everything in that box has almost been released by itself except for the debt runners so I've got two more off eBay I left them in the house I forgot to bring them out um, I was meant to have two more again coming, but I don't think I don't think the guy is up there sending them. I think he's trying to con me out of money, so I'm gonna hopefully I can get my money back for them. So I will be using these as well for most likely the assassin. Well, one definitely for an assassin. I don't want to use the two of them because they'll be very they'll be too similar. So they're going. They're really nice models. They're on a big base. They're going to look awesome once you give them some different weapons. Um. And that's kind of it then, that's it for the plan for now. The only thing I can do now is go over the list. And I made this list because I'm wanting to kind of, I kind of said once I make a list, 
but you stick to it. You know, you make a plan and you stick to it. So uh, first up we have, now this is based on the more time warband simply because if you wanted to do warbands from the skirmish book if you want a pure clan nation one there's only two entries in it and it's it's pretty shitty so i went to the more time rule book and i looked up the clan nation one so i kind of based it roughly on that and uh, well not roughly but about 99 percent of it so no i've added extras onto it you only get like one assassin in it i think you only get four or two black skaven uh, two night runners, so I've added like extra into it because I want to. I just want more. Why not? It'll look much better. And um, so I have two assassins. They get the choice to get a few weapons uh, to choose from, but obviously I'm going to go with the weeping blades. That's kind of what they're really well known for. Um, and fighting claws, two different assassins, uh, very similar setup, but just two different weapons. Uh, four Black Skaven, I think these are kind of like, as far as I can remember, these are like your, they can be like your, do the hard hitters. Um, I think they're kind of next in line to assassins maybe. Uh, but the equipment I give them is, I give one, I'm going to give one guy a, a warp lock pistol. Uh, I'm thinking of giving two of them, like uh, a halberd or a spare each. And then the last one with a sword. Maybe I could just go... Uh, all halberds or all, all spears depending on what bits I have um, So I'm not too sure about that. I'm not too pushed on swords So I'm thinking now maybe a bit more towards the halberd spear halberd or spear uh, You get an Eshin sorcerer, which is awesome. I want him to go with um, my rat ogre uh, So he's gonna have a, just a staff. He doesn't have a staff and um, rules or anything in it but i'm just going to give him like a staff with maybe some uh like spell scrolls or something like that uh, so the model he'll have like uh his staff in one hand maybe he's reading off a scroll or something like that uh four night runners obviously with two daggers uh just to kind of mix it up then again i'm going to give one uh, a sword and one a spear um i could give them all daggers i think a night runner with a spear is a little bit funny since they're meant to be like really sneaky and everything <laughs> So I'm just going to have to kind of work my way around that uh, and see how it gets on. Uh, then finally the Vermin Kin. These are kind of like your clan rats. Uh, for them, so the kind of, these are like, like assassins and training. They're at like the lower end of the clan. So I'm going to give them some swords and shields and maybe just two guys with spears. Or maybe just model them with a spear and a shield. Uh, so I think I'm just going to be using normal clan rats for that. Uh, giant rats I talked about before. Um, I think I will go with the little kind of funky weird looking guys. Simply because it's a bit more fun. Um, and finally a rat ogre. Uh, rat ogres are kind of hard to get on eBay. They're really expensive. And the only ones available now are to buy like brand new. Are like the really old ones. Which are okay. Or if you want the kind of the newer ones. That were released with the end times. Uh, but they're really expensive as well. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out something for the Rat Ogre as well. The only thing I've kind of written down here as well to go with it is. is they have some very cool special rules in the Mordheim rule book. Um, and I wanted to list them here along with it. To kind of keep in mind when I'm modeling them. When I put them on the base. Just kind of cool little things that will fit along with it. So obviously they have tail fighting. You can give them like a dagger on their tail or something like that. They have a rule called the Black Hunger which I'm not too sure about. Uh, wall Runner. Which is awesome. That can look really good running along a wall on the base. Uh, infiltration and silent death. Simply because they're assassins and they're stealthy. They're going to creep up on you. They're going to kill you before you even know they are there. So hopefully I can get started on this warband soon. And see if I can get anything in focus here. Mm, probably not. Let me think. Let me move this guy forward. I need to get in focus then. So... Hopefully I get this warband started soon. Um, it's going to be a pretty fun project to do. So keep an eye on the channel. Hopefully videos will start coming up a bit more regular over the Christmas break. And I have a few other things, a few other videos planned. 
uh, and getting stuff done but for now the main project is getting this water band built hopefully they look just as good as they're uh, just uh, just as good as I picture them in my head but uh, hopefully you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe if you haven't and um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video